Hi, I'm Sharon Calvert and this is Eye on Tampa Bay. Today I have Ken Roberts with me and we're going to talk a little bit about Tibarda. Uh, Tibarda has been in the news recently um, having to do with some ethics and conflict of interest issues, especially with regards to its chairman, Ronnie Duncan. So what it did was it it caused us to, to pause and, and, and take a look at Tibarda a little closer. So Ken, um, give us a little history here on Tibarda. Uh, how were they created and, and when, when were they actually created? Tibarda is the Tampa Bay Area Regional Transportation Authority. Transportation includes roads, transit, anything that moves people or freight uh, in a seven county area around uh, the Tampa Bay. They came into existence in 2007. The state legislature created them uh, and gave them vast powers, set them up as a regional transportation authority. Uh, at that time, and we discovered recently, that they set up their board, uh, they have a 16-member board, 15 of the members have votes, and of those 15 voting members, Hillsborough County has one representative. The city of Tampa has one. So if you want to stretch it a little bit, out of a 15-person uh, board, Hillsborough County has two people sitting on that board, and uh, one of them specifically to represent Hillsborough County. But on the other hand, we make up 34% of the population in their jurisdiction. So we really should have five people on that board. So now, that begs, I'm sorry, that begs the question, why did that happen? Was this an oversight of the state legislature to build the board this way? Did they just make a mistake? Oh, gee, we forgot there were 34% of the people in Hillsborough County? I think not. I think it was, it was formed the way it was for a purpose. And uh, when you start asking yourself that what that purpose could have been, it has to include disenfranchising the people of Hillsborough County. So it looks like it was set up originally, it's got a representation problem. And because of the way it was set up, being regional in nature, do you think perhaps they were trying to, to uh, implement a regional taxing authority with Tibarta? That, that was their original intent. First they created it, and then uh, they intended to make it a regional taxing authority that requires state legislation and would have required a referendum in each of the seven counties. Uh, when they were formed in 2007, as everybody knows, business was great, there was money everywhere. But between 2007 and 2008, the recession hit, uh, the housing bubble burst. And so when it came time to try to make them a taxing authority, there was no senator in the Florida Senate who wanted to talk about taxes, so they couldn't get that done. So they still needed funding. So uh, in search of funding, they tried to get their hands on Hillsborough County's toll revenues. And uh, I know legislators who were in the legislature at that time and they fought them tooth and nail successfully and they were unable to get their hands on our toll revenues. So Tibarda has not, by their makeup and by their behavior, has not been a friend of Hillsborough County. And I think that should be worrisome to us because just recently um, <clears throat> our own county commissioners were voting on a $50,000 uh, funding to Tibarda, our county dollars going to Tibarda. Well, uh, we found out about it and brought it up as, a, as an issue. And it was interesting because uh, it didn't seem like anybody really knew what that money was for, but it was going to Tibarda. So uh, we had put a little pressure and uh, we successfully uh, got that taken off the agenda, at least for now. And we'll watch that closely. But uh, regional taxing authorities, we, we've got to be careful about those because what does that do? Yeah, well, uh, the problem the problem with regionalism, the problem with regionalism, if you will, is uh, it seems intellectually logical that something like transportation has to be looked at at least partially regionally because you're moving across large areas to accomplish good, efficient transportation. But what you have to be careful of is moving the decision-making too far away from the people and disenfranchising or diluting their uh, power at the ballot box in the process. And this is a great example of that. They move the decision-making one step further away from the people, 
and they disenfranchised the people in Hillsborough County so that our vote on that board where decisions are made is, is very diluted. And we've actually seen this in other parts of the country where they have put mm -hmm. regional taxing districts and authorities in place. And it, and it does. They're one, one arm length distance from the local voter. And what we see is special interests get empowered. Yes. So the influence of the local voter is diluted, but the influence of special interests seems to uh, become greater. That's the case, and uh, this is something we have to be very wary of. You know, if you look at regional transportation planning, we have uh, the chairman of the seven MPOs, Metropolitan Planning Authorities, in the seven county area meet as a coordinating, a chair's coordinating committee. There's one regional authority. The Florida Department of Transportation has another regional transportation authority uh, in, in this region, and now we have T-BARDA. How many do we need? Well, that's exactly right, and you wonder, you know, do they step on each other's toes? But, I mean, historically, Florida Department of Transportation has seven districts in the state of Florida. And they've really played that role of the glue crossing the, the different municipalities and the different counties um, with the projects that need to do that. So it certainly appears that Tibarda is an extra layer that perhaps may, may not be needed. But Tibarda really doesn't have any staff. So no. they always just, you know, they have to go out to vend it out and have consultants anyway. So I guess the question is, you know, when you look at it, what exactly is it that do they do? Yeah, in my opinion, when you look at it, what you see is a shell. You don't see the structure necessary to be a viable regional planning agency. So what do they do? Well, when you look at their powers and the representation, it's clear that what they want to do is they want to use a lot of authority and a lot of power to execute something. And uh, I think that's what they're there for. They're there to execute a master plan uh, and with their power and limited representation from the high population areas, they're gonna do it with a minimal problem from the people. Well, we're gonna watch this closely because Tibarda, I think, will continue to be an issue. It just, uh, it, as it is in the, in the Pinellas referendum where we've had the issue uh, with mm -hmm. regard to uh, Ronnie Duncan being chairman of Tibarda, we're also going to continue watching the funding from the Hillsborough County perspective. And if that issue comes back up again, uh, we're going to get back involved. So, Ken, is there anything else that you'd like to provide us on Tibarda as far as what we need to watch or or consider, um, you know, being careful, uh, you know, in, in, in watching what they do? No, uh, I think we've pretty well covered it, but uh, TBARDA is an agency we really have to ask uh, if it's needed uh, and uh, if it's built to do the will of the people, because I, I don't really think it is. We'll stay tuned and watch, and we appreciate, Ken, you being with us today talking about TBARDA, and that's Zion Tampa Bay, and I'm Sharon Calvert. Thank you.